Hello and welcome to EucreMedia.com. My name is Sergey Proknevsky and today I'm giving away 45 pattern presets for After Effects. So without any further ado, let's dive right in. Okay, so the first thing you need to do is download the zip file from EucreMedia.com slash patterns. Okay, so once you have the file, just right click on it and do extract all and uh, you'll see this pop-up window. Just hit extract and it'll take a second or so and you'll see a folder in here. Go inside it and then select this one and do control C and copy it. And so you can take it to two places. Uh, first one is uh, your C drive, then uh, program files, Adobe, Adobe After Effects, and then support files and then presets. So inside this presets folder, just do control V and paste this patterns folder. And inside there, you'll see all the patterns and stuff. So that should work, but there's also a second way of doing it. And uh, it's by going to your C drive and then users. And obviously I have Sergey, but whatever your username is, and then go to documents, Adobe, Adobe After Effects or After Effects, and then user presets. So inside this user presets folder, you can control V and paste that in there. So next, let me show you how to use it in Adobe After Effects. All right, so here we are in After Effects, and let me show you how to create these patterns. So the first thing I'm gonna do is click on this icon in here to create a new composition, and I'll label it uh, Patterns, okay? And next, uh, let's head on over to Effects and Presets panel, and inside Animation Presets, let's collapse this down, you'll see uh, our Patterns folder. And uh, if you put that in the Users Presets, you'll find it there, but if you put it in the Presets folder, you will find it in here. So yeah. I'm going to collapse this down and see all of our uh, patterns in here. So how would I bring these patterns into my composition? So make sure you select your timeline. You can either double click on any of these or you can just, you know, click and drag and drop and that will do it for you as well. So yeah, it's that easy. But how can these patterns be useful? So I don't know, you can use them a number of different ways, but let me show you like one way. I'm going to double click on the shape layer here. Make sure timeline selected, double click. And as you can see, my shape layer is in here. It's just a solid color. And I'm going to double click on the text and type something like ukramedia.com. And I'm going to select the text, do control alt home, control home to center the text. And uh, let's see. Now let's bring in some kind of texture. I'm going to bring in, or pattern, I guess. Uh, let's see, low poly. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to put it in between my text and my background. And I'll use a blending mode, like overlay. And maybe hit T for opacity. Maybe take it down to like 30, something subtle. And as you can see, just having some kind of texture behind my text makes things a bit more interesting. And the cool thing about these, if you select the, the pattern, you know, while it's selected, you can double click on any of these and it will adjust um, your pattern to whatever you double click on. So that's kind of cool. All right, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you'll find these presets useful. Again, to download them, go to ukramedia.com slash patterns. And also, if you would like to learn how to create these patterns in After Effects, you can check out one of my tutorials I did a while back uh, at ukramedia.com. And I'll be sure to post a link at the bottom of this video in the description area. So definitely check it out if you haven't already. Also, my twin brother and I have created a uh, mentoring group private mentoring group on Facebook and if you would like to be a part of it uh, just follow the link at the bottom of this video and join the group and uh, actually I have one more thing to share with you guys and uh, this is something I'm very passionate about and I'm actually working on my first video course it will be on After Effects Expressions in fact the name of it is After Effects Expressions Made Simple I'm planning on releasing that around maybe April May I'll definitely keep you guys posted all right, well, thank you again for watching this video. Make sure you like it, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. But anyway, until next time, my name is Sergey Proknevsky, and this is ukramedia.com.